as a natural hair individual, dryness is one of those issues that we're always going to have. But I come bearing good news. It can be managed as long as we understand the why and the hows. It can be a number of reasons as to why our hair is dry. The most general of which is its natural texture. The kinks and the coils and the curls that we have may actually prevent or work against its natural moisturizing system. And on the other hand, some of us unfortunately may have one that's just a bit more robust than the other. I'll get into that in a second. Now, just like our skin, our hair actually produces oils that helps to moisturize, moisturize it. Fun fact, your scalp, your scalp is actually an extension of your skin. Therefore, it should do pretty well moisturizing itself, right? Wrong. Based on the natural coils and curls and kinks that we either love so dearly or can't stand, our hair might just not get enough moisture right? The ends of our hair may not be able to get enough moisture, or it could also be that system that I spoke about not being as robust as it should be. So if our hair, if the moisture is not getting to the end of our hair, this can cause dryness. Or if our hair is not as robust, it can cause issue. And this robustness is just determined based on our genetic predisposition. I know. I'm just saying that our genes determine whether or not we're gonna have plenty of oil or not so much oil. For myself, I find that I have a pretty okay moisturizing system, but because of the texture of my hair, it just never gets to the end. So I have to help it out a bit sometimes. That's totally cool, right? So secondly, our hair just may not be doing so well at absorbing the water in the air around us because our hair naturally reacts, as we can see, to the, air, the moisture in the air around us. Now, this brings to the conversation porosity, 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 <laughs> right? So porosity is just basically our hair's ability to absorb, absorb moisture, absorb absorb moisture, right? There are three types. You can either be high porosity, medium porosity, or low porosity. Now let's get into high porosity. So high porosity here is one end of the spectrum. So this hair or this type of hair typically does well with absorbing moisture. So opening up and taking in the moisture that's surrounding us is no problem. Its cuticles are free and open and can take this on. However, the problem comes with holding it on, holding on to the moisture. Seeing that the cuticles are constantly open or semi-opened most of the time, the moisture leaves just as quickly as it enters. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have low porosity. So this type of hair typically if I didn't know better, I'd think it was an umbrella. It literally does not absorb water. The water will just sit on it, stare at you, and wonder what it's supposed to do. As if it doesn't know, like, go into the cuticle. Hello? What did I put you here for? Right? But then, because the cuticles are closed, it holds onto the water so well. So when you finally get it in there, it's like the greatest thing ever. Now, people are... People with medium porosity hair or hair that is medium porosity typically doesn't have to worry about either of these issues because they're what we call perfect. Don't let them know though, right? So they're able to absorb and they're able to hold on to the moisture. Now, thirdly, you have The ever going ongoing balance between protein, moisture, protein, moisture, protein, moisture. 
I get tired from trying to do this balancing act. His either he wants protein, he wants too much protein, has too much protein, has too little protein. The balancing act. So based on the products that we have on the market, especially if you are a relaxed or natural hair girl, you might be getting too much protein. I mean, it's not bad because in order to have healthy hair, we need protein. Our hair is protein, carotene specifically, but protein, right? And we may get a little bit too much based on the products that we're using or our regimen. And as we know in a Jamaica, too much are not no good. So it can cause problem. And even though our hair may have the strength, it lacks elasticity and flexibility that we get from moisture to allow us to comb, bed, morph, and do whatever it is that we need to do with our hair. Now that you understand the why, your next step is creating a regimen that will help you to combat this. Now, I'll be putting out a video and it will be here or here or somewhere when it goes out. And this will provide you with all the tools, all the information that you need in order to beat dryness to the curb. Because we really, we're sick and tired of you in case you haven't noticed. Thank you.